must help. The Agorians have launched a full-scale assault on the settlement. Our kind has barricaded themselves in their homes. We have no time for petty squabbles. Ratchet, remember the mission. The Obsidian Eye is all that matters. The Eye? It's in a temple. I can take you there. Please, we are not an aggressive race. Help us defeat the Agorians and I'll show you where it is. So I like this demo because this particular part of the game, it doesn't really give you any spoilers. It just puts you in a nice spot where you're in some action and you already have some cool features like uh, the hover boots. Huh. And you already have some like pretty decent guns and stuff. So it's just a nice way to get a feel for the game. And I think, That's cool. I think giving you the hover boots in the demo is such an awesome way to do the demo because being able to play the hover boots is so fun. What are your, some of your favorite game demos? Um, well, there's one I played. Uh, you ever heard of Tomba 2? It sounds familiar. Well, that demo is on like... Congratulations! Your weapon is upgraded! Weapons upgrade automatically as, as they, they are used. used. Anyway, Tomba 2, the demo for that was on two different underground jam pack discs, I think. So I played that demo quite a bit. Never played the actual game. Um, when I was little, I used to watch my cousin play Final Fantasy 7 a lot. And I wanted that game really bad at the time. Um, and one of the jam pack discs has a demo of Legend of Dragoon which is like a similar play style, just not as good, or maybe better, depending on who you ask. But, um, so I played the Legend of Dragoon demo a lot back then, just pretending it was Final Fantasy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> a lot of people really think Dragoon's like the best game on the PS1, so. I, I own it, I think, now. I think someone gave it to me. I don't remember, but. I've never really played it, I just the demo. I mean, I don't even like Final Fantasy, I just liked 7 when I was a kid, so. But yeah, so let's see, I got some kind of cool guns here. Um, Sonic. Did I ever tell you about my failed streams of Final Fantasy 7 Remake? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it was a sad day. I, I replayed the opening mission seven times or seven or eight times before I finally gave up on it. Here's the Groovatron. Ooh. I think I heard they copied this in Fortnite or something. Oh, the Boogie Bomb? Yeah. Man, I just love the hover boots. That was just so fun in this demo. And you have all these, like, cool hover boot things you can do. I'm going to turn down the game a little bit. There we go. So, yeah, you get... There's a few guns that you can, like, upgrade with different features. I think, um, see, in Ratchet & Clank, there's a lot of mechanics that are, like, staples of the series. Like, uh, something called the Swing Shot, which is, like, a grappling thing. But I think, oh, and there's the Grind Rails, which is, like, a huge Ratchet & Clank thing. Uh, but I think they're really smooth in the PS3 games, especially the Future series. He dances on the monster. <laughs> That's nice. 
Yeah, that weapon's in quite a few uh, PS3 Ratchet and Clank games. And I think even the PS4 one. And probably even the Rift, Rift Apart, too. But... But yeah, a lot of... I gotta say, you um, you were saying, like, to look out for the graphics, but I gotta say, these are pretty good graphics for a PS3 demo. Yeah. I guess I better actually go, like, do the objective. God, you can go so fast with that. Yeah. He seems to have a lot of trouble walking. Yeah. you told me but what is your favorite ratchet and clank game favorite ratchet and clank game yeah this one okay i thought so <laughs> but uh tool of the destruction is is a pretty close second i need some health you ever played up your arsenal uh a little bit i think Yeah, I have a lot less experience with the PS2 ones. Gotcha. Actually, you know what? I've only ever I... played a little bit of uh, the original and Up Your Arsenal and the reboot. It looks like I have Up Your Arsenal. Oh, you do? I don't do. know if it okay. works. It was in, I was at like a church rummage sale or something, and they were selling a CD case, and it had a couple games in it, and one was that. Huh? So. So I do have Neat. it. Neat. Um, I also had Size Matters, I think, for the PSP. And I had Secret Agent Clank for the PS2. And I think I had it on PSP, too. Yeah, to me, this, uh, this game's the peak of Ratchet & Clank. I know a lot of people would say it's probably one of the PS2 ones. But nobody would say that it's uh, the PS4 one, or Rift Apart, or All for One, or uh, Full Frontal Assault. Oh Bye damn! Now. Wait here. I'll cover you from the sky. Yeah, this is also the first time using a DualShock Three in like ten years, maybe. Wow. <laughs> right now. How just, weird does it feel? It feels pretty weird right now. If it looks weird, because I'm just uh, testing the sticks. It's feeling a lot better. Yeah, I took it completely apart and washed it with with uh, deoxit and some alcohol, and I soaked the the rest of it in Dawn and water, scrubbed it, stuff. Ratchet, we need exposed first fuse. Rip it 
Yeah, this is one of the games that I platinumed back in the day. And then I started another PlayStation account so I could platinum it again. <laughs> Man, I respect that so much. And then uh, I had to pick an account so I could platinum it again. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying before I switched controllers, yeah, um, I'm not going to buy it on something that's not PlayStation. I don't believe in Ratchet & Clank not being on PlayStation. I heard the experience is pretty good on PC. I'm sure it is. It just feels so wrong. Like, I wouldn't want Halo to come to the PlayStation, for example. Dead. Looks like we've got one more hydro tank. Check your nav unit. Yeah, this game has a lot of really nice locations and good soundtrack. When you get to see, like, space in this game, it looks fantastic. Yeah, so, um, as you can probably tell, Ratchet and Clank are separated in this game. Yeah, I was wondering about that. And, uh, since, you know, in the older games, uh, Ratchet kind of gets sort of some enhanced movement abilities because of Clank. Because Clank has, like, helicopter propeller and, like, a jetpack and stuff like that. Yeah. So, they kind of compensate for that with the hover boots. Uh, so now, like, if you do the, you know, like, you can jump and glide kind of like that. So it's kind of cool. So, yeah, in this game, you play a lot as, as Ratchet and Plank separately. And you try to find one another stuff. Yeah, and uh, this game and Tools of Destruction are like the most serious that the Ratchet and Clank story gets. It's like the most deep. Yeah, I definitely plan to do a playthrough of this game sometime on here. I need positions. Copy that. Stand by for nav sync.
take out those fucking PT boats. I used to hate missions like this. <laughs> They've actually kind of grown on me. Yeah. I remember one of the hardest ones for me was in uh, Sly Cooper 2. Zeros! 12 o'clock! Hi! That's something I'd like to do a playthrough of. <laughs> So that should be the end of the demo. Nice. Can't wait for it to come I, out. I was just going to say the same exact thing. Can't wait. I might buy it. <laughs>